Hey, it's Sunday morning and I am at QE2 Wildlands um, doing a day trip with Sean and Derek from Paddling Adventures Radio and we're doing some fishing and some exploring and it's going to be wicked fun! Hey, I'm here with Sean from Paddling Adventures Radio and we are uh, about to spend the day at QE2. Eating cinnamon bun things. Eating cinnamon bun things and doing some fishing maybe. 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 Mm -hmm. Definitely fishing. Definitely. The roly boys always fish. Good. I got worms. I... You got a new paddle there, Sean? Cappy Tire Special. Sweet. But it's not only my spare. I don't actually trust it to be used full time. <laughs> my real paddle is this one. Mm -hmm. even, uh, Upper Canada Paddle Company. Been using it forever. It's got a nice crack in it. <laughs> but it still works. It's seen many lakes, many rivers, many rocks. Still works for me. As long as it gets me paddling, I'm good. Yeah, hey, Derek's already gone. Bye, Derek. Well, there's Derek. And there's Sean. And here's me. Keep going straight up. Huh? Straight up. Straight up. Uh oh. Almost there. Now go right. Well, not right, right away. Straight and then right. Yep. What do you got there? Socks. Socks? At the end of portages, you always find socks. Here's a sock. Colorful like this, my bet it's Derek's. <laughs> There's two of them there. There's two. Your pack's your pack's on the other one. Derek, stop leaving your girly socks all over the floor, guys.
it's a rough day out here on the water. Yep, weather is horrible. Company's terrible. <laughs> my hair migrated to my chin and then forgot to jump off. <laughs> All right, so before the boats came, we were talking about Jim and his fro. Jim Baird. <laughs> See, that's my, that's why I think they win the alone, because he got a haircut afterwards, so he doesn't want people to know him and hit him up for money. <laughs> that's my theory. I don't think so. I do. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think they won it, like I say, because the ones that made the, the cabin, that's pretty cool. Yeah. But too much energy spent making that cabin. Yeah. Where they need a boat and they're out there actively searching for food and stuff. Not as much calories burned, but that's my theory too. But I'm still, my number one is the haircut. Well, it kind of makes sense. I've thought about that myself. I like thought his if haircut? I... <laughs> <laughs> You're a difficult man to talk to sometimes. <laughs> oh my God. These guys no, like, are like an old married that. couple. See what I have to deal with? I, I, I don't know. Up. It's it's a pretty bad toss up between the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know if he keeps coming back for more. So I can't just quit him. That's a good point. <laughs> I have responsibilities. <laughs> and you need to record for shorter periods of time too. Because I can't stop dropping the F-bomb, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm no, quite surprised bad. about that one. I thought that was going to be Sean that was going to be dropping the F-bomb all day. I'll raise my hand and agree with you on that one. <laughs> I think today I prefer just to record and uh, let you guys talk and not really know when I'm recording. I think that would be the best. So who is your favorite guest on the show so she far? She hasn't been on yet. What? She hasn't been on yet. I think they're talking about me. That's a long drive for me. <laughs> um, we, we were pretty excited about having Kevin Kellen on. I, I thought that was uh, I thought that was pretty amazing that we were able to get Kevin Callan. Yeah. You got Kevin Callan on your very first show? The very first show we did the Canadian Canoe Museum and Kevin Callan. Oh yeah, I heard that one. Yeah, it's the one with the crappiest uh, audio. Audio. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we were. Were you with filming that. with a GoPro? Because I hear their audio doesn't really work very well. No, actually. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> so, uh, so we were pretty excited to have Kevin Callan. We thought it was great that we got Jim Baird on. Uh, David, David Lee, Lee. co-hosted an episode. Yeah. So he, uh, I was away or? What yeah, was you were on vacation last year. I was on vacation and David Lee took my spot. Apparently so. I've already got a replacement lined up if you ever just, <laughs> dude, you're gone. Nice. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Who else have we had on that was pretty cool? Oh, we've had people, we did phone interviews with David Bain about yep, the Canoe Symposium. Jeff Maps about Jeff Maps. Yep. But uh, yeah, no, and there's, like I said, we got a whole lineup of people that we still want to get on. Yeah. We had our buddy uh, Mike Burns Mike on, Burns on a couple uh, like times. a couple times now. Yeah. He did a, he was a surprise guest, but only because we surprised him by making him a guest. <laughs> yeah, he didn't know he was going to be uh, on the radio the show. He he thought he's coming over to drink beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not for free. We have this list of about 15 people that we want to interview. You know, it's, we're talking about stuff that you don't, really know about and I mean we're learning stuff as well you yeah. know a different thing like canoe polo is pretty much a full contact sport I think that's a big part of why you guys are so successful too um, and it's something that Jim Baird touched on when he was there and something that I spoke to him about at the canoe symposium was that you guys are real right yeah. you don't pretend to know everything no. you don't no, act like it. you know everything like I'm the same way I go out there and you know I stress all the time I'm not an expert you know, I just do this because I love it, and this is what I've learned over the years. And you know, I don't, I don't want people to see me that way because I'm not perfect, and I'm not a professional. And you know, you guys do the same kind of a thing. You're, yeah, you're out there, and you're. We try to stress that point. Yeah, right. You're learning as you go, like yeah, you yeah. said, and it, it's important. I think that's really important because people don't see you as you yeah. know a big know-it-all, or you're like talking to them or at them. Yeah. You're talking with them. And we often get it wrong. <laughs> and rarely correct, <laughs> but we often get it wrong. Like we 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 don't know everything. We're like we usually it's just a quick research to do a topic. And and what I find 
interesting about the show and what I am enjoying most about it is I'm learning so much. I'm doing so much learning yeah. from all the research we do to create topics for, for create content for the for the radio show. It's uh, I, I just learn so much from it. It's uh, there's so many things that like you know you, until you start looking into things, there's so much that you don't even know is out there. Yeah, I, I find that too. But we're going to Japan to do that log uh, <laughs> rafting. <laughs> there's one nuts. that we found recently. It was uh, do you know those giant aluminum tubs that you give water to cows in a field in? Yeah. Well, people take those down rivers. What? Tanking. They call it tanking. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You can fit like six or eight people in them. They build seats into them and they just, it's, it's a slow floating river. There's no white water or anything. Aren't but they these, made of metal? They're yeah. made of metal, yes. And they float? Yeah. Well, they Throw hold water. some in the middle, some chairs in there, and you just yep. have a nice lazy day. Oh, <laughs> it was wow. like a ride at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> now my thing is if they're going down this river, and the pictures they show, the river has these high banks, I'm thinking you, you put targets and you give everybody in the tank a gun. <laughs> I don't like that idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking summer Olympic sport. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tanking, shooting, it's all good. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.